Good morning, everyone. This. Oh God. Okay. That's awkward. I'm just gonna hold it down here. Good morning. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while, and I feel like I'm gonna have a really good day today, so I wanted to vlog. Um, partially because it probably would just like be interesting to watch, um, and I wanted to put a vlog up anyway, and today seemed like a good day. But I'm actually at Cycle Bar. I signed up for Spin recently. Recently with like as in within the last 48 hours. And I bought like a month, like they had discounted month membership and I bought it. So I want to go in right now. I'm not like late. The class starts at 9.30 and it's 9.19, but I'm not like in the routine yet of like signing in and getting my shoes and getting on the bike and whatever. So I like want to make sure I have time to, batteries about to die. I want to make sure I have time to like get everything set before our class starts. So, welcome back to the vlog. Welcome to my channel. And subscribe if you're new. Okay. Okay, I made myself like an actual breakfast slash um, brunch, I guess. It's already 11.16. I used to do avocado toast all the time, and this is really bringing me back. I'm so excited. I have to sneeze. <coughs> okay. But this one obviously has an egg on it and everything with the bagel seasoning. And this one has red pepper flakes and a little drizzle of olive oil, and they both have hemp seeds on them. And, and then this one has um olive oil. Did I say that? I don't know. Um, so I'm going to eat this and then I have to be, I, should I just show you like my face right now? Cause I'm like, this is like what I look like. I have to be at the student clinic. I'm volunteering from one to five and I was going to go shopping for like business casual clothes. This is such an, mm, just because I need those now. But I don't know if I'll have time. I should probably like make time by just eating right now. Mmm. Okay, so I look pretty wild right now, but I'm doing my hair. Um, I blow dried it a little bit. My hair is so stupid thick um, that I have to blow dry it before like I blow dry it and like style it with this thing. This is what I do usually when, I don't know if like other people do this, I'm not really sure, probably. But this is what I do when I use the uh, Revlon thing. I'm not gonna like talk to you and do it cause it's like loud, but I'll like turn it on and then like twist it like this as it's blowing and then just kind of like leave the twist as it like sets and then it turns out decent most times. So we'll try it out. I wanted to like actually have my hair done because I'm going out to um, drinks after I get done at the clinic at five, which is very like adult nine to five, like happy hour with friends post work. And I like it. So. I just wanted my hair to look somewhat decent, but I'll show you guys how I do it. Look at this mess. Wow. I also want to, I need my hair cut pretty badly and I want to potentially go darker. I don't know. Cause I see people with like, cause this is like my natural color. Um, I see people with um like darker hair not like dark dark but like medium dark and i'm like oh that looks really good but then i also see um people with really nice blonde hair or i see pictures of myself when i was blonder and tanner i'm like wow that was like it's a good time i'm also definitely not gonna have time to go shopping i don't know who i thought i was um but it's already 11:40. Um, so this just like simply not gonna happen. Okay, I just finished my makeup. I don't have anything on my lips yet, but do I? No, we're not wearing masks in the clinic anymore. So not that I like have to put something on my lips, but I like to. 
Um, why do I have 101 text messages? Here's my hair, and then I just kind of like separate it out. It like doesn't look fantastic, but it's just like something. My hair is naturally just like, if I left it to its own devices, just like straight and kind of frizzy, so it looks a little bit more presentable. I think, I don't know. I also don't know what I'm gonna wear. Cute. This is from Princess Polly, and I've worn it like when I needed to dress up for clinic several times. I don't know. I have these pants that I actually really like. I thrifted them at Goodwill, actually. Um, but I don't necessarily the shoes that I usually wear because I don't have like dress shoes that are like clinic appropriate. I don't know it's like it's like business casual but I have to be able to like move and stuff because I'm technically supposed to be I don't know if I'm like treating any patients today maybe I don't really know which is like kind of scary um but like I can't wear well could I I don't know these seem like pretty tame but I can't wear like heels you know but then I don't know if open, am I allowed to do an open toe? I don't know. But then like my toes look kind of crusty. Like I need a pedicure. This is not that deep. I don't know why I'm thinking so hard about it. Like when I say clinic attire at my school anyway, that can mean a lot of different things. Like there's people who wear like, um, like the really, they're like comfy dress pants from like Lululemon or Athleta. They're like a tapered jogger or whatever and like um, a polo or like a like a nice, I don't want to say a nice t-shirt but like, well yeah probably a polo but like someone told me, it was like on Instagram or something, I was like having a conniption kind of because I was shadowing in an office and it was on a Saturday. So they were like, oh, it's like casual. And I was like, I don't know what that means. Because I knew people who had dressed in clinic attire on casual days at my school that wore like the comfy like jogger pants, like the nice jogger pants with like a t-shirt. I... My neighbor owns a lawn care business. <laughs> Yeah. Why is this? Has that been like that? Oh yeah, I was at this, I was shadowing at this clinic. And I was like, what's casual? Like, I don't know. But no one ever, like you can't wear jeans. I thought. But you could wear like nice jogger pants. I'm like, conf I don't know. The general dress code or the general attire of most chiropractors is that of a professional golfer. Which is like really true. And it's like not the vibe I'm trying to cultivate. Don't get me wrong, I love a cute little like golf tennis skirt moment. Like very cute, but I can't, like I can't wear that. I have to wear like khakis if I want. Like I'm not, I'm not doing it. But it's also like not even real clinic right now. Like I'm just volunteering because we're on a, like a school break. But I am not going home this try break, so. Which I don't think I've mentioned that, but I'm here in St. Louis over my entire school break, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. So, like, if I did, I, Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, here's the outfit. I'm not, like, in love with it, but it's just gonna happen. Um, Like I said, this is from Princess Polly. These are... I got them like at a closing sale from like New York and Company like before I moved out here. So these I got at Target. I don't like them, but they're like the only appropriate, whatever that means, dress shoe that I have. I ordered some other ones from Princess Polly that should be here in a couple days. This is, um, I don't know. I probably stole it from one of my sisters, I think. 
and oh where's my other one i have to go put on my other one but i just got these new pieces from Ana Luisa. this video is not sponsored but i was working with them on instagram and this is one of the necklaces i got and i also got one that has an m on it from mike and i gotta go find it before i leave but oh, when i need the hair tie okay i'm like running around like a crazy person but here's that i'm gonna head out and then go pretend to be a doctor and then go out for drinks um i don't know why i just got like nervous all of a sudden okay that's weird i'm pretty sure that i don't know what this lighting is i'm sorry i'm pretty sure that i'm actually treating patients today and that like makes me kind of nervous um because this is the first time that i've done that like in like a professional setting or like in this setting i don't know why i'm nervous i'm gonna go find emma because she's here okay i'm supposed to it's one o'clock or a little bit before one and i'm supposed to be here until five so and i'm probably not gonna show you anything in there because it's like hipaa and stuff so okay bye like my mom in undergrad she got it because in undergrad they like Okay, I'm in the gross school bathroom, but I saw my first patient. Everything went not perfect, but it went okay. So, I don't know. I still feel weird about it, and my hair is frizzy. But, I was literally, I felt like I was about to vomit before I walked in there. I have an hour, and then Emma and I are going to go get drinks. <laughs> I wasn't anticipating vlogging into today, but I felt like I didn't vlog a ton yesterday, so I was like, I'll just like, you know, keep it going. It's about nine, it's a little before 9.30. Um, so I'm having a slow morning, which are my favorite. I was going to go back to the clinic today. There's a shift that would be available to me um, from nine to one but i was thinking about it and i actually was texting out this morning and she was planning on going too um and we were both just like i don't really know <laughs> i kind of don't want to go honestly because i just want to make sure i actually give myself a break um i was excited to go in a few times and just kind of like you know see how things are run like get the lay of the land and so i'm not like walking in day one like i don't know anything um so I'll probably go back like maybe one or two more times before I actually start school again. But I just didn't feel like going today. Plus I have to work later this evening, um, like my actual job, the one I actually get paid for. Um, and I just didn't want to spend all day like doing a bunch of other stuff and not do the stuff that I really want to do for me and I need to get some stuff done today anyway. So I'm just gonna ice roll and then probably journal I just got this journal actually at Target. I was randomly at Target and I had been wanting like a moleskin journal and I was like, I'm just gonna get it. So just for like morning pages and like other journal prompts and like to-do lists, I'll probably write my to-do list in here today. Um, yeah, these are like good quality, simple journals. So this is my vibe right now, just ice rolling with my eye patches and journaling. I love it. I was going to say I'll try to link some of these items um, on my Amazon, but my Amazon was, like, really, like, acting weird. I don't know. I had been, like, an Amazon influencer for a few months, and then all of a sudden they were like, your account has been reviewed and it's not, like, eligible or something anymore. And I was confused because they don't have, at least listed anywhere, they don't have, like, um follower requirements or anything like that but um I was like maybe they changed it and they just like didn't tell me I don't know but then I think my friend Jill you guys might know Jill she's also like she's one of my internet friends um she I don't know like what platform she applied through like if she used her Instagram to apply through or YouTube but she 
got approved and she has not that it like matters or anything but she technically has less followers than me by like just maybe a couple hundred but then I think she was approved still so I don't really know I'll try to link it through something um but I know like this is on Amazon I'll try to link this somewhere else but I don't know I'm like not like I love Amazon I just want my account back you know showered and gotten ready for the day I just did my hair like kind of how I did it yesterday actually exactly how I did it yesterday but it was just already dry um because I didn't feel the need to wash it after my walk it is a little bit after 12 and I need to sit down and do some of the stuff that I wrote down on my to-do list like some of the stuff I have to do um before I like do the things that I want to do like go shopping and clean my room and stuff. I have some people to get in touch with. I have some music to cut. Part of my job as, I don't know if I'm like shaking, I am shaking my desk, sorry. Um, part of my job as a coach is doing choreography for like their floor routines and stuff, if you know anything about gymnastics. Um, I do that. And I have to like get the music and all that stuff. So I have to do that for a few people and I have to send some content over to a brand. Oh, I need to like figure out something about my health insurance or lack of health insurance rather. <laughs> I'm about to head out and this is the outfit I've worn this shirt like a million times I thrifted it at Goodwill I have these shorts on that I just rolled up a little bit I honestly don't remember where they're from potentially forever 21 I have my adidas falcons on that are literally so old and like just chronically dirty I am in the market for a new pair of just like everyday um, white slash off-white sneakers I really want the New Balance 550s and I think I'm gonna buy them. I had been wanting them since last year. Um, the green ones like broke the internet. Um, but they were like 300, 400, 500 dollars at points and I was like that's not, that's not in the not in the budget. But I found a pair that were like this same um, kind of similar colorway for like maybe 150, 160 which is more doable I think. So and then this this is embarrassing. I need a new canvas toe bag, but this one, the strap broke. And so I tied it to the other strap. It's filthy because I wear it every single day for school. I have retired my um, backpack just because it, oh, hello. I don't carry my backpack anymore because honestly, it's just like not as cute. Um, I'm gonna go to the mall, which I don't, I don't like the mall, I'm gonna be honest with you, but, um, I wanna go to H&M, so I'm probably just gonna go to H&M and then leave, because I really don't like the mall. Okay, I'm back from the mall. It was kind of a flop, but I did, where is it? I did end up getting this shirt. Um, I'm like fine with it. I, I do like it actually. I don't know. I just like the colors. I thought it would transition well into fall, but it's still like kind of light and bright. I don't really know. Um, it's like a satiny material, so I will try to find it and link it for you guys. But everything else was just kind of, I don't know. I just like really, <laughs> really hate business clothes. Join Cosmo Balls.
the premier kickball team in St. Louis. <laughs> Hit the bell button if you want her to join. Subscribe, comment down below. Yeah, Taj and Balls. <laughs> now you gotta join. There we go. Is that it? Can they see yeah. themselves on the that's screen? All, that's yeah. all they need. Leave <laughs> Join Taj and Ball. Survey on you your YouTube it. video of like, do you wanna, do you <laughs> want me to join a kickball team? A YouTube poll. Do you wanna see my journey of growth? <laughs> Of just my kickball journey. I literally would show up. You could say, you could say, <laughs> listen, listen, awesome. listen. You could say episode one, the beginning of my kickball journey. Dash Tajma balls. You gotta have it come in like. Uh, she's yeah. not the so type to have a thing. You could, you, you could play some music. Tajma balls. Tajma balls. Tajma balls. Episode one. You're a, you, you're a YouTube guy. Have you ever actually gone to her page? Fake friend. Fake friend. No, men love to tell me what to do. With <laughs> oh, you got that comment from like that middle-aged man that was like, "Oh, really? What did he say? What? I What's his name? Class. Ask him if he wants you to join a kickball team. Hey, he probably you? does. He I, wants you out I there kicking some balls. We were in methods, and you showed me a comment oh, that you got. No, I don't even remember what video it was on. And he was said, like, "How is she allowed to vote? Yes, <laughs> yes. Like, How is she allowed to vote? You don't want to anymore. I don't even remember. Hey, what she's video made it. She's big time now, having comments like that. Oh, yeah, brother. I, just, like, I got Andrew that notice. Tate status, like yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Damn. Okay. She does not need a vote. Are we playing this game? All Olivia, right. we're trying to recruit you to Tosh and Balls. Oh my god, Joe, like, I will be there. <laughs> Hell yeah, there brother, go. that's Shake all we needed. Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, alright. What? All right. Things Sky, did you go? Me. Did you ever end up drawing? Uh, no, I, I actually did, yes. Did you say you okay. potty? Yeah. <laughs> I can't, a grown man can't say potty nowadays. <laughs> 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 okay, so it's Saturday evening pretty much now. Um, I worked all morning and into the afternoon, and... Now I'm home, but I came home to some packages, which is my favorite thing. But I wanted to give you guys like a little baby mini try-on haul. Um, some, of the, some of the stuff that I bought. Also, I didn't like end up really vlogging last night except for that random clip of Joe and Sky. But I went right from work to Sky's apartment, and we were just hanging out in the hot tub, and then we went and played a nice little game, like a little card game, a little wholesome moment. Um, at his apartment and then I came back here I worked and now I'm back here again first thing I want to show you guys are these trouser pants these are the archer pant from Princess Polly everyone and their mother has these I feel like and I've been wanting them for like a year or close to a year and I just like never pulled the trigger they're not like even super expensive I think for like a good pair of like trouser pants I think they were I think under $60, but I just got the black pair. They have them in so many different colors now, but I figured I would start with the black, and then if I really like them, I would get them maybe a couple other colors, but they fit so good. Um, they're similar to one of the pairs that I tried in H&M yesterday, but the ones at H&M were just like too tight through here, and I like it just like a looser fit, but I got a size four, and they fit like perfect. So, I really like these, and then I also bought a pair, well, hold on, I'll like, go get them. Or I guess I'll just show you guys. Okay, hold on. I like put them back in the box because I was gonna do like a little, like fake unboxing, fake because I already had to unbox them. But these loafers, I had also been wanting, look at my unboxing. Um, I had also been wanting these kind of shoes for about a year, a year now or so. Um, and so I finally got them. I feel like these will also be good for clinic and just like a good like black shoe to have that isn't a boot or a sneaker. Also these, I tried them on. I got a size eight. Yeah, a size, yeah, I got a size eight and they're a little bit roomy, but I had planned to wear like one of those little like half socks with it anyway. So I think it'll be fine. But I'm normally like true to size, like eight through and through. But these run just maybe like a little bit big. Okay, so this is the next thing I got. This is from Amazon. I got this, oh, it just got like dark. 
Okay. I got this for Mike's cousin's wedding that I'm going to in September. It's like at the beach and I feel like dresses for weddings are like hard because you want to like not wear the same thing every single wedding you go to and I feel like I've been going to a lot of weddings and just like in that phase of my life. But I got this, it was literally maybe $20, less than 30 on Amazon. I'll link it below. And it's not too short, it's very stretchy. I like it, but it has this, this is what I was drawn to. It's definitely like not the same thing as what the picture showed on Amazon, but it's like this crisscross neck detail. And I don't know, like for 20 bucks, like it's, like it ain't that bad, you know? I don't know if I want, I like don't know what this vlog is. I'm not sure if I want to keep vlogging. Cause I think I might be going out tonight with a couple of my friends. Not like out, out, but like a little bit out. <laughs> I don't know what that means anymore. But I guess I'll just end off the vlog here. And then if you get some random clips of my night, then so be it. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Give me a thumbs up what else comment i feel like i'm so like out of commission with vlogging um but i'm excited to see what this vlog is because i actually haven't started editing it yet so hopefully it turns out to something good anyways thanks for watching i will see you guys in my next video bye